All right, welcome into the show. We're going to give you a handful of coins that we are buying right now. And when Bitcoin breaks into price discovery, we are expecting to go to the moon and beyond. Let the gains begin. Let's rock and roll. The leader of the meme coin super cycle theory has spoken again. He's telling you what to look for exactly. I'll give you some examples of projects that I love that fit the description. A Cardano meme that's one of our favorites is sending. Okay, the vibes are back, baby. And perhaps a cautionary tale for those overcomplicating their uh, crypto bags. And of course, the relevant crypto headlines and news in less than 20 minutes that we give you every day right here on the channel. I'm Gavin Dawson. Tex is off. He's big shooting, of course, closing deals in the fiat mine. And you're going to want to send him some love on social media. He is going to be back real soon on a regular schedule. But uh, once again, we open the show here with Bitcoin making major moves. We've been over 68,000 already this morning. We'll talk about where this thing could go really at any moment but bitcoin over 68 earlier it's now pulled back to 678 there's so much price history at 68 69 and 70,000 so many failed attempts that this is going to be a tough one but there could be shorts piling up here and building up and you can obviously see why so many times we've come to this range and rejected in a big way that presents an opportunity for those traders to go short um but at some point that that's going to burst and it's going to create a short squeeze and before you know it we could be on 74,000 inside of a 1 hour candle and these are the days where I check my phone every 15 or 30 minutes don't look at me like that I know you do it too I'm, but I'm half expecting to see the move taking place every time I uh, open up that app and you know what we want uh is is just to to build higher highs above this you know 68350 you can see the candle close there there and then going back through history so many times we've had candle closes and candle opens on the daily here at 68 and a half so that's big and then you just move up here to 69.4 and that's the previous all-time high from 2021 there is so many wicks and candle closes happening there and then obviously you know 71 and then the uh, actual all-time high we need to get above 74 so there is a lot of work to be done to, but continue Continuing to make uh, higher highs in this trend that we have been underway on since September 6th reversal since this double bottom going back to early August, early September, we've been making higher highs and higher lows. And we, we just need to scratch out a, a higher one before uh, Sunday evening, before Sunday's close here in the United States. And we are just, we're stair-stepping it beautifully. Or it could go a hot knife through butter. You know, at, at any moment, we could just uh, see the blast through and the move up, and that would be outstanding as well. Okay, but, I mean, we've been talking about how everything is lining up. We've said that multiple times this week with the part of the calendar year that we're in relative to the having, And you add institutional moves as well with Satoshi Stacker pointing out that the spot BTC ETFs have seen over a $1.1 billion Billion dollar total net inflows over the past three trading days. He asked, "Is TradFi going to pump us to a new all-time high?" And I think the answer to that is ab absolutely they're going to. We go over to Coin Telegraph's uh, Twitter account. Bitcoin dominance has hit a three and a half year high. All coins getting left behind. Bitcoin's market share hit almost sixty percent October fifteenth, marking its highest level since April of twenty twenty one. April of twenty twenty one, a special time. That's when Elon was pumping Doge. He went on Saturday Night Live. Ada got the Coinbase listing. Everything was just going crazy, and uh, Bitcoin dominance flipped, and it became altcoin season. And for a long time altcoins reign supreme but that is not the case now as we jump over here to the top 100 on coin gecko that's up next year on the ada boys let me refresh it it hasn't been refreshing on its own lately so let me give you the latest data okay bitcoin 67.7 up 3.2 percent eth up just a a one and a half percent bnb under two percent solana under two percent gains uh, xrp under two dogecoin making a move we talked about Do doge yesterday some blue chip memes I think that's going to set off meme coin super cycle 
3.0, 4.0. I mean, it's just it's just a meme coin super cycle at this point. But when Doge pumps, it's going to make all those smaller memes go absolutely crazy. But, um, you know, Cardano's flat. The main takeaway here is Bitcoin is outperforming the altcoins once again. Okay, up next in the Ada boys, the leader of this meme coin super cycle theory, Murad. We've been talking about him a lot. A lot of channels have. Okay, he posted this um, thing yesterday and it gives you a, a a really sweet checklist of things uh you know to look for when you're maybe out there shopping i'm taking profits on this coin what should i get in next it says buy meme coins that can become very big buy coins that have undergone multiple 70 percent corrections study coins that spent a long time under 10 million study coins which have people hustling for free okay that's that free key opinion leader action right that's us right here on the ada boys we're talking about these coins that we love not because the projects are paying us but but because we have conviction in them and we want to spread the word let our community get in and then you know realize these gains down the road and use bubble maps and holder scan to check distribution you don't want you know the top 10 wallets having 50 percent it's an obvious you know cluster of insiders and, and uh you know pump and dumper stuff like that so a lot of good stuff in here as far as alpha, what to look for. I would highly encourage, you know, you guys to open up Dex Screener, and it is, it's a great place. Maybe we'll talk a little bit later on in the week on some of the tools and filters you can use. But I have a couple here that I have built off lists from the guys that we follow, Crypto Likes, Murad, and our guy at Fade the Sniper One, Jordy. Always want to give credit to those guys for putting these coins on our watch list. And then from there, you know, we can find good entries. Right now, Pelfort is an amazing community. It is sitting at $4.4 million market cap. You can see the all time high all the way up here. It has pumped recently. Let me pull a quick fib here. Let me see what we can look at as far as levels from the recent low to the high. Okay, so maybe we're going to bounce here off the 0.5. I like to look for the golden pocket. So if I'm shopping for Pell Fort right now, I like the entry right now. I mean, 4.4 million. I could see this going into the hundreds of millions. You know, a 25, a 50x is very possible on this. But there are so many good coins that I think being patient and waiting for key levels. We lost the 382 yesterday. Now we're making our way down here to the 0.5. I think from there, maybe we come down to the 618 inside the golden pocket here. Now, if you just want great entries on Solana meme coins because you're funneling, throw 25% of your potential allocation into Pell Fort here. Get some skin in the game. If it does moon from here, you're in, right? And you could potentially do very exciting things with that 25%. But as it comes down here to the 0.5 and the 618, layer more of that bag in. And then if we come down here to the 786, where there is some history of candles opening and closing, Maybe you can unload the rest of the bag there. Okay, other coins that match the description. How about Harold? A lot of uh, 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 crypto Twitter uh, activity on Harold. He's had a couple of big days recently. I mean, look at this move when you really zoom in. It's electrifying. You know, that's a 3, 4x here over the last couple of weeks. Still way down from the all-time high. Market cap sitting here at $3.2 million. That one matches the description as well. And then used car has just been on an absolute ripper. I think I'm up, I've been up between eight and 11 X on this in the last couple of days. It lost a two, three, six. Maybe it's thinking about a three, eight, two retracement down here, but you know, maybe even more likely is some golden pocket action, uh, significantly down. I mean, that's down 50% from, from where we are right now. So used car might, might have pumped a little bit, uh, too much for an entry right now but if you're in it you're loving it and on that big red candle certainly the whales could decide to eight back in and send this thing and this becomes one of those momentum trades at this point where maybe um you know you look at the green candles you're like i don't want to fomo in but if it if it keeps going up another 20 25 50 percent 60 percent day and you're looking at all these candles you're like what's stopping it from continuing to do again and that is a lot of the fomo and the momentum and the magic of of meme coins that sometimes you know they do just keep on ripping but i i, I think i'd be looking for at least a 
a, 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 a 35% pullback from where we are right now from 29 to 19. Let's call it this level right here before I would start deploying some capital there into used car on Solana. Okay, let's have some Cardano fun. Big salute to the team at Friend. They have officially gotten off the mat. Uh, they, they suffered a near knockout blow. And here was their bottom, September 29th. It started all the way back here. And then the big event when uh, the founder bailed, friend on Cardano, one of our absolute favorites over the years. We charted the juicy bottom during the depths of the uh, – of you know uh, of of the retracement here at one two and we were buying all the time here. I bought a ton up here at two three two four um, when I had some wins in in Solana meme coin land. And then the next thing you know, we are just absolutely devastated. But now they have reversed the trend and they are making higher highs. And from the bottom to the top now, we are over a hundred percent pump. So, uh, you know, a hundred percent in the last three days alone, you can use their token at the Donzo Casino. They have the most friendly vibes. Salute to Jeff and all the boys over there that had a community takeover. And I just love this project. You know, I want to see it do well. And I think when uh, ADA has its day and when the Cardano narrative kicks back up and is hot like it was in, in 2021, I think Friend is, is one right now that you can, you know, really – make a huge uh, life-changing uh, pump on. It's it's still a uh, 50% down from that uh, juicy bottom, by the way. And it appears we've made a new uh, juicy bottom, which is about 60% down from where it is right now. Okay, what else do we have? CBLP here on Tab Tools. Uh, the team at, at, at YAM4 launched uh, this lending and borrowing token a while back. They did a fair token offering. The unlocks have been happening. The claims have been happening. And it led to additional supply. And people have just instantly sold. The coin, the coin has been destroyed. Um, and yesterday was really bad. Um, today, uh, you know, it's bounced. It's maybe found a new bottom here. So maybe this is a, a good opportunity down 75 or 80% from a couple of days ago. Maybe this is an opportunity for, for people that wanted to get in, can now get in at, uh, at, a, at a pretty dang good entry. Okay. Everybody's favorite cat, Mogi. It's wet. Um, little red day today. I'm a buyer about 10% down from here at the 0.5. And then golden pocket. Look at these candles. Look at this price history. There is seven days of price history here inside this range. So I would expect the golden pocket to be a, a glorious accumulation zone if we get there. You know, we're at the part of the bull market here with October really starting to kick off that we might say goodbye to these ranges forever. Uh, and that's why my, um, you know, advice is if, Again, not financial advice, just my YouTube advice is if if you want to FOMO in bad, start a position with 25% of that bag. Wait to see if we hit the 0.5, the golden pocket. I don't think you want to be totally sidelined right now trying to snipe entries. You know, I think that that would be a, a recipe for, for some extreme FOMO if it does take off. Okay, what's making news in crypto? That's up next. What are the major events to look forward to in the coming hours and weeks? The AVAX Summit is going to get underway. AVAX, that's where the off-the-grid game is, and that's where a lot of crypto gaming, their big meme coins, and they had a glorious run in 2021. This could be their catalyst. Um, you have uh, the the D-Bridge token getting set to launch on Jupiter and, and KuCoin and stuff. I think it's... It's 8 a.m. UTC tomorrow, so around 1 or 2 in the morning or midnight, depending on where you are in the United States. Canary Capital filed for a Litecoin spot ETF. People are talking about Litecoin quite a bit. I think it's up a 5%. Tesla moved around like $765 million in Bitcoin to some unknown wallet, so we're trying to figure out exactly what that means. Um, and the, gra the, the that grass meme coin that everybody was farming announced the date for their airdrop checker, which is coming up on the 21st. Tia has a announcement of uh, an update coming. Celestia there. I, I don't know if they're going to get off the mat or not. But look at this. Before we get out of here, active addresses on the Polkadot relay chain on track to produce another all-time low. Okay, so this, you know, I just think this might be a cautionary tale. This goes along with the narrative of the meme coin super cycle. And a big part of that is people have, 
you know, lost the love uh, for the utility tokens and the tech. And Polkadot is one of the most impressive pieces of blockchain technology that you're going to find out there. But the appetite for that is diminishing. If we're honest about what's happening on, on Cardano, the enthusiasm, the momentum, the volume, the engagement, all of those things are trending down. And Snack, you know, remains uh, the number one volume token on, on Cardano. So maybe that's something to lean into, at least for now, you know, if you want gains. And it is a cautionary tale, like how many of these projects are going to have the stamina to stick it out? and fight through it and have the resources to get capital to you know maintain their uh, payroll and, and everything while user adoption continues to decline when is blockchain going to be so much better than the infrastructure that the current um you know web 2 foundational companies provide when's blockchain going to be better than that and, uh, you know, and when is it going to be better in, in such a way that demands adoption and allows that technology to have its day? I don't know when it is, but I know we have about 12 months here left of this scheduled bull run. And uh, we plan to make the most of it in whatever narratives are popping the hardest. Please join us. We'll be back tomorrow with more crypto news and storylines. Till then, shoot you, boy.